it's really a tool to enable the teams versus like a top-down measurement. Welcome, welcome. Have you ever had a time where you saw this demo of this great tool? has this awesome UI, it has these great dashboards, lots of colors, lots of information, and you looked at it and you said, oh, this is gonna be so, so useful. And then you got to it and you never used it again. Well, that is also the problem that we were seeing as we adopted Dora Metrics and our customers adopted Dora Metrics. And that's why this is the program to watch to see a solution to this problem you can turn what was exciting about Dora Metrics and keep that excitement as you improve. Welcome to Sleuth TV Live. I have Daniel, our head of product here at Sleuth, and who's going to be talking and leading us through our new goals feature. And then we also have Matt. Matt is from Rewind. We're super excited that he can join us to give us his feedback and his thoughts on things. So we're here, we're here today to talk about why it's so important for teams to be able to set and track their own engineering efficiency goals. And the advent of this came from hearing customer feedback along the lines of the, yeah, Dora metrics are cool, but what we really want to be able to do is contextualize all this for our organization, for our teams, and for the improvement initiatives that we care about today. One of the big questions that we were asking customers when we were first doing discovery on this feature was, where would it be valuable to set these goals? And so after a lot of talking to customers, we, we landed on the forward that we see here, right? So we basically broke down um, lead time into its different sub buckets, coding time, review lag, and review time, and deploy time and made that the place where you can set goals because uh, we figured it was a little more actionable to you know, know that a PR is approaching a review lag time goal. I look at my time here at Rewind and um, one thing I've noticed is like each team seems to have their own culture, I would say, to actually have visibility and be able to kind of characterize it on a team by team basis is like immensely useful. I guess not every every team operates in the same manner. It's a great point because it does just highlight the need to be able to set the goals per team and have them be different per team, but also even knowing what good should be for each of those teams. In some ways, the first step is you get those metrics in so you know your numbers, but then the rules start you down that path of improvement. And I think that's where once you start down that path, that's when the excitement happens. Once you start saying, okay, our goal is not to get a number, but our goal is to improve the number. That's when the creative juices can really start going and saying, ah, what if we improve our pull request? What if we do this? What if we do this? I love the fact that it's actually giving the team the tools to, to look and see, okay, well, where, where in the lead time metric are we going wrong? It's really a tool to enable the teams versus like a top-down measurement. If I can't give that to the team, like something to actually be able to improve, it's like, yelling into a vacuum. Would you be able to share more about how you think your teams will rally around goals on a day-to-day -day basis in the real world? I could definitely see something like lag time, you know, really improving as as people, you know, have visibility of it. When you start to see the breakdown and you're like, wow, like half of that time is being spent on like nothing happening, just review lag. I think that would change how people go about like PRs, you know, the power of goals is to really have it from from the bottom up in the team, understanding what our, our goal is for lead time, and then figuring out, okay, what are the, uh, you know, the breadcrumb of some KPIs that uh, will help them achieve that. Thank you, Matt, for coming on. Thank you, Daniel, for spending time to go through the product that has been super interesting. Uh -huh.